Welcome, welcome. Happy holiday to all of you. Happy Labor Day. Welcome to How to Monetize Your Expertise on Black Friday by creating a digital product. If you are in the here and now and present, just go on and put hashtag live in the comments. And if you're here in the near and dear future, put hashtag replay. I have been excited about this conversation all day because one thing that I love to do, um, which I hope y'all love to do as well, is uh, figure out ways to be in an act of service, to figure out ways to be able to impact the world and to make money while we do it, right? That's what we're here for. So I'm excited for y'all to be here. Um, I know that I've got some S for P members in the building. So if you're in Speaking for Profit University, just going to put a S for P in the comments so I can see who's here. Anita, I see that you're here. Dominique as well. Lucinda and BX. All right, y'all. Cool. So do me a favor, if you're an S for P, just put S for P in the comments so I can know that you're in here. All right, y'all. So uh, let's get into our training for today. We're going to probably spend about anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes together. I'm going to give you as much value as I can. Um, this is my goal is for you to be able to walk away with enough information uh, to really put your digital product in the marketplace and to impact the world. So I'm excited for y'all and I'm excited for this space. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to talk about today as we get into our conversation. Um, so what you'll learn during our class today is the digital product funnel. So we'll talk about the funnel that you'll be creating. Uh, we're going to talk about creating your product itself. What does that look like? I'm going to give you some Kajabi setup for pro tips. And then I have a gift for you at the end, of course, and some question and answers that we can get into as well. So I see we got some for folks in here. SJ, welcome to the space. Rakita, welcome. All right, cool. So why, why is this subject in particular important to you now, right now, right? Uh, it's probably important to you because you have an expertise that should be monetized. Maybe you have a speaking business or consulting business or a topic that you have spoken about for a while, and it's time to essentially clone yourself and put it into a digital product so you can share it with more people without showing up, right? So maybe you have an expertise that you should monetize. Um, the other reason you're here is because Black Friday is one of the biggest shopping events of the year. This gives us an opportunity to secure the bag because everyone is securing the bag on that day. It's when most organizations make the majority of their money in the fall. So it gives you an opportunity to be connected to that. And the other reason that you're probably here is because once you've created your digital product, you can promote it and sell it over and over again. So if you are here because of any of these reasons, just go on and put the word abundant into the comments so that I know that you're here to call abundance into your life, into your journey, into your business, um, and realize that this is a strategy that companies around the world are utilizing. So you should be utilizing it as well. And I'm really excited for you to get that um opportunity for you to grow your audience, right? But also for you to grow your income uh, during this holiday season. So, all right. I see some abundance coming through. Some abundance is coming through. I love it. I love it, y'all. I love it. I love it. All right. So why should you listen to me? A little bit about who I am for folks who might not know the folks who are here, um, who are my clients and my students. Thank you for being here. But um, I am Evolve Benton. I'm the author of Sir Poetry Dedicated to Boyhood and Black Queer Love. Yahoo Finance, shout out to them. They named me top 10 public speaking coaches in the world. Uh, and I'm also the parent of these two lovely dogs. I always include them in my presentations because I want y'all to know if y'all do hear a couple of dogs barking in the background. Um, it's my loving pups, Ashby and Marley. Um, Marley is the amazing, cute little Yorkie right here. And this is Ashby. The other reason why um, I'm important in this space is because I'm a speaker. I'm also a co consultant, a coach, and a digital product creator. So um, I've spoken around the world. Here's me speaking in Monterey. I also have an album out uh, that I put out a few years ago. So I've had the opportunity of publishing a book and an audio book slash album. And I'm also the founder of Speaking for Profit University. And we're an organization that is diversifying the speaking and consulting field um, with amazing leaders and change makers. The other reason and how I came up with this uh, method I'm going to teach you today is I took a screenshot of my Kajabi 
uh, dashboard. Kajabi is a platform that you can utilize to build your online business. And we'll talk more about it later on today. Um, but I took a screenshot a few days ago. So um, I've made about um, $262,000 on Kajabi. So shouts out to that. That's a big accomplishment for a business owner. And all transactions don't happen on Kajabi. Uh, and all of this has been through digital products, coaching, or being in an active service. Uh, so I do have the experience being able to make money online and I want to teach you to do it. Uh, what's very interesting about me is COVID happened and I went home for work and I never left. And I've been mostly running my business remotely the last couple of years. So it's been really exciting. Um, actually, I believe last Black Friday, my company and I, we brought in about $10,000 with the strategies I'm going to share with you today. So it's definitely a possibility um, for you to continue to build this. And I want you to know that this is an opportunity for you to get started, um, but it doesn't stop with Black Friday, right? Once you have a digital product, um, this is something that you can leverage forever in your business as long as you are marketing um, and showing up with integrity in the marketplace. So I'm excited to get into that. So those are the other reasons why you should listen to me. <laughs> All right. I see. Awesome. I see. Yes. Yes, definitely. So I always want to want to tell you all a little bit, bit about who I am, because what's really cool about the business right now is that um, we're partnering with more people. We're getting to know more people. So Everyone that walks into a training is not someone who knows me. So it's always important to have that time. And I hope as you all put together your products, right, you can think about today's training as a way to share with other people. So as much as you are here to learn about how to create digital product, I hope that you're also learning about the framework and the way I'm presenting. Um, and that should give you an opportunity to really be able to develop yourself as well. So I know that we've been here for a minute. Um, I want to get into the, the nitty gritty of it. So let's get into our first topic, which is your digital product funnel. And I really want you to look at, at a funnel as an opportunity for you to do two things. One, to build your audience, because the larger your audience is, the easier it is for you to sell a digital product. If you have a very small audience, then you have a very small group of customers, right, that potentially might be interested. But instead of just focusing on building an audience on social media, I really want to employ to you that it's important for you to build an audience in your email and in your text world, because that's more responsive. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to social media, and don't shut me down, YouTube or StreamYard, anybody else, right? I'm not trying to talk bad about social media. But the unfortunate thing about it is if you're not paying to play, it's organic traffic. And a lot of people won't see your particular information, right? So it's important that we do this strategy to grow our audience so that in the future, we can continue to communicate with our community and build that type of relationship. The other reason um, why a funnel is important is it gives you a roadmap, and for me as a business owner, I don't know about you, having a roadmap helps me to decide which way I'm going to go and what decisions I'm going to make. So if you're if you're if if this is you and you enjoy roadmap, put the word roadmap in the comments. Uh, I just want to see if I'm here with community. So let's get into this funnel. The first part of the funnel is going to be content marketing. That's the very first part. And we're going to go to we're going to go into each section. So don't feel like you need to just be jotting everything down. You're going to get some more examples, but please be taking notes. Content marketing is an opportunity for you to utilize social media, right? To grow your impact and give value. So the way that I do that is through today, right? I'm giving y'all a live training. It's being broadcasted on YouTube, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, various places, right? To give value to people. Um, that's content marketing. Now, sometimes look, people look at that as like, what are different ways we can do that? We'll go into that next. The, uh, so the first part is a content, piece of content that you're going to have. The next thing is you're going to have a gift. A gift is like your lead magnet, right? An opportunity for you to share with the world um, some point of your skill set, right? And that could be a book. That could be a tip sheet. We'll go into the details. And then you're going to have a time launch, right? And that a time launch is because you don't want to have something that's just open all the time. It doesn't move people into the act of buying, right? So we really want to give it a timed opportunity for people to get to know you, to get to know the product and for them to purchase it. And then you want to close it up, right? And open it up again um, when you have some more space and time in your schedule. 
So what is content marketing ideas that you can utilize, right? Remember, this is the first part of the funnel. You could do weekly lives where you talk about the topic, right, that you're going to be presenting. Maybe you do a weekly, weekly live segment. I have one that I do. Um, I'm usually going live every Wednesday. This week we're doing it on a Monday because it's a shorter week for me. But I go live every week and I try to give some value, right? So for you, could you do that? Could you go live and talk about your topics? And while, we're, while I'm talking about topics so it can make it easier for me to use examples that are realistic, tell me what you're thinking about creating your digital product around. Go on and put those topics into the comments because that helps me as we build and make you know, more examples of what we're going to do. Uh, you could have a YouTube show. You could have a podcast, a blog, or a social media post. The way I've listed these are the orders that I think help with me, help, have helped me grow my audience. It's been weekly lives. And I think people like you being here live, right? People love you to be live. Like I, I thought about even today because it's a holiday, right? I was like, I'm not going to show up live. I'm pre-recorded, but it's nothing like being live and in the flesh. It gives you an opportunity to really connect with your audience and for them to connect with you as well, right? So Weekly lives to me are top priority. YouTube show is great as well because YouTube, we know, is something that's going to be discovered. It's right. It's out there. It's connected to Google. People are going to see it. So it's something that can last forever. It's not going to be just you do it one time and it disappears into the ether of social media. I love podcasts because they're very similar and they have a particular audience. Also love blogs because of the SEOs, right, you're able to use with that. And then also love social media. Right. Because I feel like social media is a great way to continue to push your message. Now, what I will say about content marketing is I don't want you to overwhelm yourself. What you'll learn about me is I am the simple coach. <laughs> right. I'm the simple coach. y'all. Right. So I want you to keep it simple. I want you to pick one content marketing idea and I want you to stick to that. Right. Someone said, can I repeat what I want them to put in the chat? Please put in the chat what you're thinking about creating your digital course around. What's the topic? So I want you to pick one content marketing idea, just one. So if you're going to go live weekly, go live weekly. If you're going to do a YouTube show, do that. Um, I don't want you to invest a lot of time and energy into it. And later on, uh, when I give you the gift at the end today, I'll give some resources for you to check out that makes this easier. Keep it simple. Keep it really simple, y'all. We are not um, trying to be the number one podcast overnight. Just keep it simple, give value, uh, and then you'll have an opportunity to really connect with people. And that's really the point of the content marketing is it gives you an opportunity for you to share how people can make the next step with you, right? So if you go on live weekly, there's going to be different people who show up. Those people who show up, you can share with them your digital product. You get what I'm saying? You can put it in the link into the bio or to the description. So showing up consistently through this content marketing is the first step because you're going to be able to give them that gift, which is our second step of our funnel, right? So first, we got to create content that drives our audience to us. And within that content, we leave the gift that's going to capture their information. And then we can launch our product. Right. It's a whole system. So first, you got to create some content that your audience is going to love. And then next, we're going to get into the gifts. Thank you all for sharing those topics, too. I'll share some of those as we move through the presentation. So let me go back. Realize I missed the slide. There we go. So when we're talking about gift ideas and these are your lead magnets, right? I want you to think simple things because this is this is real, y'all. Black Friday is like 82 days away. Like it's tomorrow, to be honest with you. So I, I don't want you to spend a lot of time by um, trying to make something perfect. Just create something that adds value to the marketplace, right? So gift ideas. You probably have all some of this in your back stock right now, especially if you're a business owner, um, if you're a speaker and you've been doing this for a while, right? So not that you're counting G's. I mean, I am counting, right? Because even when I thought about somebody said, not that you're counting G's, laugh out loud. You know, I am counting because I, I, I thought about myself when I was putting this training together, if it was too late to give it to y'all. I wanted to be able to make sure I gave it to you and you had value. So yeah, I, I think about dates. Yeah, big time. So gift ideas, right? Maybe it's a tip sheet that you can put together, which could be really cool. What are some tips that you can share around financial empowerment? right? 
What are some tips? Can you put together a tip sheet of five, five things? What is a template or a swipe file that you can give around? Um, let me see what other topics we got. Okay, people are listening. <laughs> Y'all listening to notes, which is cool. Okay. Accessible and holiday, inclusive holiday event guide. Yeah, exactly, right? That's something that you could give. So think to yourself, tip sheet, maybe a template or a swipe file, template or swipe file that people can use, a training replay. Maybe you've done a training already and you want to market it so someone can get it, right? In exchange for them getting this gift, you get their email, right? And that is gold because then you can market your product to them. Maybe it's a blog that you did and you're just going to put it behind like what we call a paid wall. Maybe it's a checklist. Maybe it's audio, audio downloads. These are some examples of the gifts that you can put together. Don't spend a lot of time. The value is more important. And I'm going to tell you all this, right? It's, a, it's an influencer that I follow and he's really bomb. He does some good work around event spaces. And I got one of his downloads and I was really excited about it because it was like, um, the top places to list your event space uh, if you're marketing an event, right? And that tip sheet was in a Google form and, it, and he got my email. So don't make it difficult, just get started. Don't feel like you got to hire a graphic designer, just get started, right? Look, a vault to our most popular trainings, exactly. Just whatever you want to put together, over, over give value. And the other thing that I'll say is when you're putting your gift idea, which is your lead magnet together, having a bonus on the inside is always going to make it a little bit more flavorful for folks, right? So what I like to do is give them like, let's say I'm going to give them, you know, as my audience, a tip sheet, maybe on the inside of that, it's actually a video of me talking about it, right? So I'm giving them double value. Or let's say I give someone a training, I might have a workbook in there as well, right? As a bonus, as a gift, because people love to be celebrated. And I want to celebrate people who invest their time in me, right? The email is great. But if you're willing to listen to the information that I have out there, I want to, I want you to get value out of it. So any way that you can add extra value, I think that that's always great, but make it easy. Make sure that it's something you've already created or it's going to be an easeful process for you. So when y'all are thinking about gift ideas or lead magnets that you would create, what do those look like for you? Go on and put those in the comments and I'll share a few of them, right? So the first step, remember we talked about it, content marketing. You're going to create some consistent content. And you're going to drive people to this gift. And I'm going to show you how to set up a page within Kajabi today where they can give you their email and their phone number, right? To download this and to get this particular item. All right. Always love how you over deliver. Oh, thanks, Rakita. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay, cool. Graphics are easy on Canva. Thank you, Evolve. Yeah, they're easy, right? We just don't want to make it extra. Um, I want y'all to be able to get this done. And what I what I see with a lot of folks is our our inability to move forward without imperfect action is what stops us from really being successful. So for you, I don't want you to be worried about being perfect. What I want you to worry about is building something because the great thing about digital products is as you grow, you can update them, right? Like I have a whole plan. I want to be updating my digital product suite uh, at the end of this year and the beginning of next year. And I'm so excited because I can add more accessibility to it. I can, there's different things that I couldn't do before because I just didn't have the bandwidth or budget that I can do now. So you can always update the product, right? So don't feel like it has to be perfect right out the bat. So now we've got our gift ideas and then you're going to go into your timed launch, right? So what I want you to be thinking about is we started off, right, with our content. We got a piece of content. Maybe it's a weekly live show that we're doing around our topic we're showing up consistently for our audience. When we're showing up at that weekly live session, we're always over delivering and we're always giving people an option to get a gift, right? A free training that you did, you know, and you can capture things via email or via text. It's really up to you how you want to capture it, but you have to be willing to give them the invitation to take in that, right? To get that from you and to give their information. So it has to be some type of transaction that happens there. We only just want to give them the link from our Google Drive. We want to make sure we get their email in exchange for it. And then you are going to begin to build your list 
so that you can launch this product, right? And that's, right? That's the step one of the of the time launched, right? It's a pre-launch buildup. That's essentially what you're doing when you're creating your content marketing and you're moving into your gift consistently. So as you're doing that, you're marketing this amazing product, right? You're going to give them teasers and previews, you know? What I love is when people tell me a movie I'm really excited about is coming out and they have like a trailer and it's like real short, right? But it's a year from now. <laughs> it's like, what? Wait a minute, I got to wait that long. So for you, how can you tease this, right? How can you start to talk about it in your content? Your pre-launch buildup is also the time to build your email list, right? So that list of people who are on that gift list that you've built, those are the people you're going to have to be able to market to, right? When you have the product. You don't want to try to put a product out there with ha not having any type of list put together. If you don't have a list, then you put yourself in a position of feeling like you're not worth it when it's really not about your product. You could put time and energy, consistency. You can get the best camera, all this and that. But if you don't have an audience, no one's there to buy. So you want to be intentional about this pre-launch time. And I'm really focusing on this because that's what y'all are in right now. Right. I want you to be able to leave today and be like, OK, Evolve, I'm going to go get into my content marketing bag. If I haven't been consistently start showing up and I'm going to start just, you know, giving my audience this gift, giving them this gift in exchange and build my email list. Because what we know is anywhere between four to probably like 20 percent of your email list is well, who's going to buy. So you got to do the math for yourself. Right. So I would I would aim to have at least maybe 100 people on that list or at a minimum 50, so that you feel really good when you launch this product. This is another time to also engage with influencers, right? So, and I don't mean influencers like, you know, folks off of like Real Housewives of Atlanta or anything like that. No offense to them, unless that's aligned with your brand or your product, then cool, and you know them folks. But I mean more like influencers who are in your community, people that you know. Right. And this is something that I wish I did more of that I'm going to be doing more of in the new year is more partnerships and affiliate opportunities where it's like, yo, homie, share my stuff and I'll pay you. I'll give you a kickback. I'd rather give money to my people to know it's going to be in front of their audience than give it to, you know, the platforms. So for you, is it someone in your network that has a larger audience or maybe even has a similar audience that you could? build a partnership with where you share their content or they share yours, right? And they're willing to push your product as well because you just pushing it as one. But what if you had like five or six of your homies being willing to do that, right? It could be really cool. So that's another way to, to really get the pre-launch ready. And then you want to make sure that you have countdown timers. And what I mean by this is like on all social media platforms, like let's say you shared a post today and said, hey, you know, Black Friday is coming and I got something special you can, even on Instagram, you can have a little countdown until the day that you know you're going to launch to kind of build that anticipation, right? And even with that, you could say, hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to be dropping something really special on Black Friday. Go on and click this link. I got a free gift for you and I'm going to add you to the wait list. So you're the first one to get it, right? So really building that anticipation. And I think a timer does that. I think the other thing a timer does is this transparency, you know how many people hit me up after I have a product for sale and they're like, Evolve, can I get it at that price? Sometimes I'll bend, but a lot of times I don't because I want to be integrity with the people who said, you know what, I'm going to commit today and I'm going to implement. Because for me, what's more important than making money on Black Friday is helping people, right? Like act of service first. So I'd rather someone who's committed and ready to go than people who are kind of like waiting right? And sitting around. So having that timer can be really helpful for you when you're thinking about your pre-launch. So these are why people are on that list, right? So what are we doing consistently when we're thinking about our roadmap, right? When we're thinking about our roadmap, this is what we're thinking about. I'm going to create content. When I put that content out, I'm going to have a call to action that leads people to a gift, leads them to the gift. I'm building my list. And the other marketing that I'm doing is I'm sharing with people about how I'm excited about the product I'm creating. I'm taking them into the process. Maybe you got an image of you on the computer working on it. Maybe it's um, the, the cover of your ebook. Whatever it is, getting your audience excited about what's about to happen. It's really important to build that anticipation. So the step two into the launch, time launch, is 
you want to have when you launch your product, right? When you launch a particular product, you want to have real-time engagement. So what people have suggested, and, and I think y'all should do it too, right? Like if you're going to launch a product, um, you could go live on that day and, and talk about it and, and really put it out there so it's exciting, right? Like really real time, be with the people. Maybe you do a training like I'm doing today, right? Like that's so important for people to be able to engage with you. You don't want to miss out on that, right? Um, you might want to add exclusive offers to that opportunity, right? I know last year when I did my Black Friday um, highly paid speaker bundle, that's what I put out. I told people like the first five get a certain gift. The first 10 buyers get another gift. The first 25, right? So I had different gifts depending on when you bought. And I opened it up at like midnight, right? So people were ready to go at midnight to get in so that they can get those gifts. So is there something else that you can add to it, right? Without adding your time. That's the one thing I want to say. I don't want you being like, the first 10 people get a free call with me, right? Don't try to put your time in there. What are some other ways that you can add value to the experience for them and make it a bonus? Like for me, I gave away a little bit of swag because I thought that would be exciting. And some people represent s for p I gave them tickets to a future masterclass that I was doing, right? Like what are ways you can give it without giving extra time? Because this is supposed to be something that's passive and scalable. And if you create something that's not, it's going to be really hard for you, right, to scale it and do it bigger next year. Because what you're going to do throughout the year after Black Friday, you're going to continue to build your list, right, and continue to have these launches. So you want to make sure it's sustainable for yourself. The other thing you want to do, right, when you're, when you're launching it on the day of is you want to amplify it on all channels, right? So if if it's happening, it should be posted on your, whatever you're on, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever things you're on, send it to your email list, send it to your text message list. Already having that set up is always good, right? Because it makes it easier for you. And you want to provide clear call to actions, right? So clarity is so important when you want people to really buy from you and also be um, aligned with working with you. So leaving the link, telling them exactly where they can get it, once they get it, tell them exactly what's going to happen, really giving that transparency and that call to action to tell them what's the next step to commit to working with you is going to be important. So this is what you want to be doing on your time launch, right? We went through what should be before, and then now we're going through what should happen on the day. And I want you to take these notes because as you move through imperfect action, you're going to forget some things. I'm going to be honest with y'all, right? Y'all taking these notes, y'all probably might be doing some screenshots, which is great. And you're going to have this information, which is cool, but you might forget something. You might just get too busy. You might be like, you know what? I got it out, but I didn't have a time to, you know, share it on Instagram. I don't want you to feel bad about that. I just want you to get better every time and know that this is the way that you can really amplify yourself on your launch day. Now, another pro tip that I'll give you before we move on is you could do a day where you go live with the homies on that day. So you're in other people's audiences, right? So maybe it's a day where you're kind of doing some interviewing. You have an interview set up at nine and 12 and three that day with different people to talk about how you're excited about the launch, right? Create your own um, kind of like, uh, I guess you could say your own tour of sorts for yourself. I just came up with that idea right now. I might actually do that uh, for my next launch. It sounds like something that could be really cool. But whatever you can do to really make it special, I just want you to lean into that and lead into your brand. If y'all are excited to execute, put the word execute in the comments. I just want to make sure that folks ain't uh, fell asleep on me. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. I get excited about this because um, this gives you the strategy to really make money. So go on and put the word execute in the comments if you're ready to execute. All right. See some execution coming too. See some extra execution coming through. All right, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Perfect. So we went through the funnel. Remember, content marketing to a GIF, launch the baby to that list. Content marketing to the GIF, launch that baby. Content marketing to a GIF, launch that baby, right? That's what we're doing. We're building our email list through our content. We're launching our product and sharing it with people. And I'm going to give you some more tools, right? But I just want you to get that down. Now what we're talking about is what is a product that you're going to create that you are going to sell, 
What we went through is a process of your customer. Your customer is enjoying your content. They give you your email and then you are going to build this product, right? That you are going to launch. And these are some examples of what you can launch for that. You can do an ebook. And the reason I'm giving you these examples, y'all, is because, like I said, Black Friday is 82 days away, and I want you to be successful. So these are things that you can do easily. As you notice, online course is not on here. Unless you've already got it built, it takes a little bit more time and energy. So for you, ebook, maybe a master class. What we're doing today is a master class. You could host something like this and then sell the replay, right? Uh, guide. Maybe it's a guide that you're putting out there, right, for people. Recipes, tutorials, or how-tos. People love tutorials and how-tos, right? How to wash your car without water, right? They got some solution out there. So these are the things that I would think about putting together because they're easeful and they allow you to do it and you could still create something else later on, right? Because when you're thinking about a funnel, there's a next step to that, right? So somebody might get your ebook and then eventually you can turn that ebook into a full-fledged course. But those people who got that ebook are more attracted to that course because they've already had the book, right? So start small, something that's simple that you can create. And I'm going to show you different ways that you can use various resources to be able to create quickly. But these are the things that I would consider creating. When I did mine, mine was a bundle, a masterclass bundle last year, right? And I'm still selling that to this day. I actually just launched it on my birthday. Y'all might've seen me post about that. And that was really cool. So I launched it again and now I'm moving into some new products that I have, but I already had done three or four masterclasses. So everybody who bought that, one of those masterclasses, I was able to market them and say, Hey, why don't you buy a bundle? Right. And give them some type of deal on that. So I already had that. I just had to put it all into one space and set up some email marketing and give people an opportunity to engage with it. So if you already have things you've done, those things are probably perfect because now you can skip this step and you can just put it in a product suite and be ready to go, right? So like if you got a course, you got a masterclass that you've already created, utilize that for this launch. If you don't, utilize one of these products to make it easier for yourself. For y'all, what are y'all thinking about creating? Are you thinking about doing an ebook, a masterclass, a guide, doing some recipes. What are you thinking about? I'm going to put that in the comments. I want to see what people are considering. All right. See execution. Execution. Cool. I got some execution coming through. What are y'all thinking about creating? Masterclass or ebook or guide. Okay. We got to narrow that down, Lucinda. I love the number three. So that's lucky numbers. Possibly ebook. Okay, cool ebook or guide. All right. How to's. Okay. Ebook. Okay. Crockpot recipes. Okay. Meditation masterclass. All right. Ebook. Okay. Got some cool stuff coming through. All right. Y'all got some ideas already. So that makes me happy. Okay. You know, I keep going ahead. So let's talk about resources that we need. Right. And if y'all haven't take a water break, I'm gonna take a quick water break. Cause I've been talking. We got to make sure we stay hydrated and moisturized. I was, <laughs> I was telling my wife that this morning. I was like, that's rule number one of being black. You got to be hydrated and moisturized. And if you can keep that going, you'd you, you be good for a long time. Um, but it's probably rule number one of being human. We all need to be moisturized and hydrated. But anyways, so get your water, get your snack, get something, take care of yourself. Um, let's get into resources that we can utilize, right? And I want to really get into these resources to show you how to utilize them um, pur purposely. So I'm going to go into each one actually for a little bit uh, so I can give y'all some feedback. So before we go into that, uh, one thing that I would love to share with you is if you are watching right now um, on YouTube, just go on and like and subscribe. It really helps us, you know, continue to grow the, our business and our impact. Please do that if you have not done that yet. Uh, the other thing I want to share with you is you know, just a quick opportunity. If you are enjoying this training and want to be invited to other trainings, just go on and text me the word speak to 323-405-9492. 
And if you text me the word speak, you'll be on my text message list. When I do trainings like this for free, you'll get invited to them and have the opportunity to come on and hang out. Uh, which is always cool for us to learn together, for us to implement together, and for us to secure the bag together. So I would love to have you there. Go on and join. Um, you can join at 323-405-9492. And you're just going to text me the word speak. All right. Thank you for that unshameful plug. <laughs> okay. So let's get into some resources that you can utilize for your business. So the first one I want to share with you um, when it comes to your digital product is something that I utilize for my actual ebook. If anybody has a speaking for profit ebook, I have utilized this and it's called PLR, PLR me, right? Um, and a PLR uh, site is a site that gives you uh, white labeled content that you can utilize to create your book or your products. And what's great about this is you don't want to just take it word for word, but if you're a person who might just need something to start with, you can add your own flavor to the content. So let me show you a little bit about PLRM me, because I don't want to have no excuses when y'all leave here on why the um, why you all have not committed to getting this done. So I'm trying to give you as much as possible. So with this, it's done for you, PLR content for coaches that you can brand as your own. So let's say someone said that they were doing something around communication. Go in here and search. They have a whole bundle for communication. Let me go to it. I don't want to download the bundle. I just want to read about it. Okay. So it's going to let me click in. Okay, there we go. Right. So it has this bundle that you could get for communication. And what this bundle includes is several packages, right? So um, let me show you. Here it goes. So it has articles and blogs, 39 of those, affirmation reflections, worksheets, fact sheets, action guides, coaching handouts, right? So it gives you this that you can download. Now, let's say you're like, you know what, you all, that's cool. I don't need all of those, right? <laughs> so you can get them individually, right? So right here, let's say if you wanted to get one on, um, okay, I like this one around communications. My motives are clearly stated, right? And this is affirmation or reflections. What you would do is just click here. And then what it's going to give you is a download of affirmations around this that you can utilize. Now, what I would do is I would take this, go on and download it, right? Download it into a product, which is amazing. Um, you could put your own branding on it, add your, some of your words to it. And this could be, you know, some affirmations that you give out about communication. It's really, really useful to be able to use. Let me show you something else. Let me see if your topic was, let's see. Let me see what other topics we had that were listed. Sound. Let's see if they have anything on sound, Spirit. I know you mentioned that. Okay, share inspirational graphics, publish motivational graphics. Okay. I don't know why that's going off. Okay, there we go. Let me see. So it doesn't have a lot on sound spirit for this one in particular. So you might not be able to use this, but it does have some pretty cool stuff in regards to sleep. So essentially, y'all, y'all could use this to get the start to your products, right? And the various products that they have on here, right? They have guides and handouts. They have affirmations, articles. They have courses and coaching program worksheets, check sheets, um, eBooks, slide deck presentations, all of this. So this gives you content to start with that you don't have to worry about, right? There's no excuse on why you can't get started. And like I said, I believe my ebook might even be on here, like the foundation of my ebook. Let's see what happens when you put in public speaking. Yeah. I don't know which one of these I use, but I think it might have been public speaking one on one. I think I did because I might even have it. 
Let me see if they say I already downloaded it. See, re-download. This is the one I used. And I used the base of this and then I added in my own flavor, like my own story, my own concepts. But I use this as the base and as, you know, an outline. And I've made, I think, a few thousand dollars just from this ebook. So don't make it difficult for yourself. This is definitely a resource and it's great for coaches, experts, and consultants. So that's PLR, PLR.me, um, amazing resource. And don't get it yet. Don't purchase anything from them. I'm going to give you a gift um, at the end of today's training so you can get some access to this for free. So the next thing I want to show you is actually Kajabi. Kajabi is another resource that I would consider using. Um, what I love about Kajabi is it's just like a platform where you can run your whole business, right? So it gives you an opportunity to do that, right? Um, Spirit said, that's okay. I want to share a great offer again and figure out how to share it, of course. Okay, cool. Great. You already got some, Spirit, so that's fine. Okay, great. So in regards to utilizing Kajabi. Kajabi is an all-in-one platform, right? So you can create products. So let's say the products that you're going to create and sell, you can create them here, right, on Kajabi. Let me actually go in here. I want to go into my partner site. Um, so yeah, so you can create products. Um, you can also create uh, courses if you wanted to, if you want to do a coaching program. You can have your own community. You can have your podcast up here. So it's all in one platform and you can sell all of this, right? For now, we're just creating something for Black Friday, but sky's the limit. Um, they help you keep up with your sales. You can have your own website. Uh, there's marketing, all of that. So the way that I would utilize Kajabi, particularly for this though, is that I would go into the left-hand side where it says websites and go down to marketing, and then I would click on funnels. This is what I love about this platform. So the funnel that you would be utilizing for this is you're gonna do a new funnel, and I would love for you to utilize the product launch one. Now the product launch one is exciting because let me show you, we're just gonna do a test real quick. And just give it a minute to build. All right, so we went into marketing, went under funnels. Now we're creating it. And the funnel that we created, let me go back and show you because I want to make sure you got to see that. We went to new funnel and then we went down to product launch. This is the one we're utilizing, right? So. We go back. We can go back into our test. So this allows you to build it out without you having to do a lot of the labor, right? Because remember what we talked about, the person's going to give you their email for a gift, right? So they already have here in this particular funnel. The first one is opt-in. This is the opt-in page where you can set it up and they can download that gift, right? So this is the link, right? This is the link that you would utilize in this one for your gift that you're going to use to build your email list, right? So you, you would put that here. After that, people start to get emails from you, right? Emails that tell you, and they even give you examples of what kind of emails you can put together, but the email sequence is already put together. All you have to do is fill it in. Each email leads people back to maybe a video of you, right? talking about the product and how excited you are for the launch, right? On a consistent basis, they have three in here, but you could always create a copy of this and create more, or you could delete it if you don't want to do videos. And then, so what it does is it'll send out 10 emails for you, right? Those launch emails will be set out here. So everyone who joins this gets your gift that will be on this email sequence, essentially. And then at the end, you set up a checkout page, right, to be able to sell them the product. And this is what that looks like, right? So you would set this up and be able to put your information to sell the product. So that's why I love Kajabi for this because they have already got a funnel set up for you to use. And all you got to do is just fill in your amazing information. 
and make it happen. Now, some of you might be wondering, okay, I got the, the product, the ebook and all that. Where do I put it? We give you a quick walkthrough, right? On Kajabi, you go to products and that's where you create your ebook or your course, right? You can do a course, podcast coaching. If you're doing ebook or any type of product, you're just going to go to course, click course, get started. We'll just put test, show them this as an example, test, test, right? I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to show you how you can find image creators on Fiverr, or you can do something on Google. We're not going to do that for now, right? You can set it up, right? Okay. It's going to be a paid course. It's not, right? Now, one strategy I'm going to give you all when you're setting up your pay, one thing that I did last year for Black Friday is that I did let customers pay what they want, right? So maybe your minimum for your product is $97, but you want to let pay customers pay what they want. This made me so much more money because some people pay more than, it's surprising, but some people pay more than what I had it listed as. Some people pay me $500 for it. So you never know when people are in the act of giving. So you want to give them that opportunity. So that could be really cool as well. So you set that up. I don't have my payments connected because this is kind of like, uh, <laughs> What do we call it? A burner account. So we're just going to say skip for now. And then this is like a course wizard, right? It's already creating stuff for you in the background. So all you've got to do is go in and fill it in, right? So let's say you had an introduction to your course. You would go in, you would edit your module, you put the name, right? If you had a file that you wanted to put in there, you would put it, right? And you would just continue to add content. You could add lessons, quizzes, import stuff from another course, right? It's just, it's very easeful because it's already set up for you. So this is why I love Kajabi um, as one of the resources that we're talking about today. Any questions about that? I just want to make sure that there's no questions and then I'm going to go on and move on. Okay. Okay, um, Spirit, you said we don't see it evolve. I don't know what you didn't see, but I'm sorry if you didn't see the Kajabi walkthrough. Hope that was up on the screen. Okay, so what we went through just now, right, was PLR me, right, and Kajabi. Those are the two things, right? PLR me would be great if you're doing an ebook or a quick guide and you need some information, right? Um, Kajabi will be good if you're building out a course and you're going to do this for a long time, right? So Lucinda, can you link external pay providers, transaction providers? Um, what do you mean by that? Like uh, Apple Pay and such, Lucinda, tell me more about what you mean by that. Okay. Somebody said, I started using Kajabi, but I'm only, okay, great. I'm happy to hear that. Good, good. It's a great space. So let's get into, uh, Lucinda, please, please clarify your question. I'll answer it. But let's, let me show you how I would utilize chat GBT for this. I'm just giving y'all like quick lessons on resources that I've utilized to build my business. Right. I want y'all to have some things y'all could walk away with. Well, I do have the chat GBT pro. I want y'all to know that. So, um, I do get like, if you, pay for it, right? Anything you pay for, you're going to get better, but you still get great results with the free one. So let's say I'm going to actually take a topic. Um, Lucinda, you can, uh, this is a great question. Lucinda's action about payment on Kajabi. You can connect S Stripe and Apple, Pi Apple Pay and Google Pay, as far as I know. Uh, they don't do Square, but they do do Stripe. Okay. So let's pick a topic. Let me see. Rakita, are you still here? What was your topic? Let me get somebody who's an S4P member. I would love to use Elijah your topic for it. Um, okay, BX, I'm going to use yours. Financial empowerment. All right. So let's say I wanted to um, create a tip sheet on financial empowerment. I would go chat Beach GBT. I was like, imagine I am a financial coach, create a top 10 tip sheet on 
What was the exact language that you use, BX? Financial empowerment. We'll do that. Financial empowerment, right? Right, look at that, BX coming through. Top 10 tips for financial empowerment. Educate yourself continuously. Set clear financial goals. Create a budget. Establish an emergency fund. Manage debt wisely. Invest for the future. Protect your assets. Regularly monitor your credit. Stay disciplined and patient. Seek expert advice, aka call BX. <laughs> right? Look how quickly that happened, y'all. Look how quickly we got a tip sheet, right? BX that you can utilize as a potential gift, right? To garner that trust and like and to get that information from your audience, right? So Stripe and PayPal still only payment services. Um Nah, you could use Beyond Stripe and PayPal. Definitely. Right? So we got this, right? We got this, y'all. This is a list. Now, what I would do next, BX, if I was you, right? You got this list now, which is amazing. But what is great is we got to create content around our content, right? So this could be our tip sheet. And then the next step of what we could do is say to our audience, you know, out of the out of these 10 tips, which one resonates with you the most? Or maybe you do a poll later on and say, you know, here are the top which which um which financial empowerment tip resonates with the most with you. And maybe you pick like the top three or four that you really resonate with BX, whichever one that they click on that poll, let's say they say um setting clear financial goals is the top one, that would be the one that I would create my product around. Right. Because now I have a group of people who have said that that resonates with them. So when I create my product, I can reach out to them, the people who completed that poll. Right. And take it to the next step. So if you create a tip sheet, utilize that tip sheet to then create a poll, utilize that poll to gather information from those people and then reach out to those folks afterwards when you've created your product to let them know that it's created. Right. Excuse me. It's just another great way to continue to build on your content. So this is one way I would use ChatGPT, right? If I was trying to build a tip sheet. But let's say I was trying to build out a masterclass. So let's say create a masterclass about, let me see what other topic we had in here. What other topics y'all got? Go on and put them at the bottom of the chat now because I got to scroll up. So if you want to throw it at the bottom, one of your... Um, Topics, I want to see if we can get a master class outline created for it. Okay, let, I'm going to do my own. Because somebody said, chat GBT for pro for the win. All right, cool. I'm going to use that. Okay. I'm going to use Rakitas, actually. Understanding communication styles. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Create a master class. Outline. Let's be very specific. Imagine I am a communication. I am a coach. Create a master class. I am a networking coach because that's what you are, Rakita. Create a master class. Create a 30 minute, right? Because we won't be here all day. Master class outline. Out. What was the topic again? Understanding communication styles. Look at this. Look, it's giving it to you, Rakita, right here. Easy breezy. And what I love about this is it kind of tells you the time you could spend on things because I can go overboard, y'all. I don't know about y'all. I'm a speaker, so I can speak all day. But, right, it's saying 30 minutes, three minutes, introduction, right? Um, brief about the significance of communication style, networking, basic communication style, right? Four communication styles. 
identifying it, adapting, right? Enhancing Q&A session, conclusion takeaways, right? Even give you post activities, right? Look at that. You can host this tomorrow. Easy breezy. So this is the, this is the way that I would utilize ChatGPT if I was utilizing for this. Like, can it give me the outline to get me started? Can it give me, um, you know, because you're going to add your own flavor to it, never copy and paste, right? It's just more of a guide for you to get started, but it can make it really easeful for you. So one other way that um, I've been utilizing ChatGPT as well is to build out scripts. So what you could do is like, you know, you got to promote the masterclass. So you could say um, utilizing information above, create a marketing script for that masterclass. Right. And now it gives you a script that you can utilize for the masterclass you're going to be teaching as well. Right. So you can utilize this script when you're promoting it. And I hope this is just like giving you some ideas on the various ways you can be utilizing this to take it down layer and layer. Right. To create all the assets that you need to be able to promote your digital products and your events. OK, great. Someone says, this is really good information. Thank you. No problem. No problem. You're just going to fill this in with your topics. Beautiful. This is fantastic. Really narrows things down. Yep. No problem. I love the time sections. Me too. I love it. You got to be really, you got to give, um, you got to give Chad GBT the information. That's insane. Yeah, it is, man. It's, it's kind of wild, y'all. So you got to give it the information so you could, you got to work it, right? Like you can't let it work you. You got to work it, right? Um, and really utilize it. So I might do some more trainings about chat GPT and how I'm utilizing that. If if that would be helpful for y'all, just going to put chat GBT or put the word chat, just going to put the word chat into the comments and maybe um, the next training I do, I'll give y'all some prompts and I'll go deeper into how I utilize chat GBT because I utilize it every day. And I think it just makes me better and better um, as a business owner and I save a lot of time with it. So seems like it'll be helpful for some folks. That might be our next training that we do together. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, for sure. All right, cool. So I want to get to the other resources. I hope that was a helpful way to look at Chad GBT for y'all. So, uh, we've went through PLR me. Remember that's where you can go get all of those assets, eBooks, and coaching guides. We went through ChatGBT. Remember, that's the space where you can really get outlines, scripts, more detail, marketing assets. We went through Kajabi, right? How you can set up a direct funnel so you don't have to worry about setting up the funnel. You can already set it up. It's ready there for you. And I don't want y'all going to none of these and signing up because like I told you, I'm going to give you a gift at the end. So you're going to get opportunity to get some discounts on some of this stuff. So the next thing is Fiverr. Fiverr is one of my favorites as well. Um, and I'll share with you how I utilize that a little bit. So this is Fiverr. Fiverr is like a marketplace similar to Upwork where you can hire people to do things for you. I hear a lot of people have problems with Fiverr. And I'm going to tell you right now, two reasons why people have problems with Fiverr and even Upwork. You do not know how to communicate what you need. So I want you to realize that it's your job as the CEO of your business and your life to be an effective communicator and to tell people exactly what you need. Um, points, numbers, steps, as much clarity as possible. What I've started to do that's been really helpful for me is I'll create a Loom video, L-O-O-M.com. Loom allows you to record yourself and your screen to walk people through what you need, right? So sometimes even if you know you're not a great communicator when it comes to text and writing descriptions of what you need, doing a video with someone could be even more helpful. But if you're not getting what you want from a contractor, it's really on you as a CEO. And you got to select people who have a good portfolio, a good background. So two things that I utilize it for, um, you uh, ebook cover design. I could do this on Canva. I'm skilled, but often don't have capacity. So you could put this in. Um, it is going to be something you have to pay for. Uh, 
you know, under $30, 30 to 65. I always go under 30. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. <laughs> Be honest with y'all. I ain't trying to go too deep in the pocket. I'm a little frugal when it comes to these things. So I just want to create it, you know, and um, get it out there. And then I can always update a, a cover if that's something that needs to be updated, right? So this person, so how do I find someone, right? Number one, I love Fiverr Choice because that means that Fiverr is recommending them. They're usually good. Usually Fiverr Choice are a little bit more expensive. I'm great with that. I love when people have an example, right, of the things that they've done. Gives me a sense of if they have the same style as me. And then what I normally will look at is the reviews. I'm big on looking at reviews. So this person has pretty much all five stars, a few four, right? And there's always going to be some people who don't like your work. So I, I don't even, I'm not even looking for this. I'm looking for where's the majority? Majority is five stars. Okay, great. They're within my budget. I don't want to spend over $25, right? Great. Let me look at some of the reviews. Very fast and efficient. Got the basic vision right away, right? And what's cool is sometimes even in the, reviews they'll show you what the person created for them so you can click on there to kind of see that product so that's how I kind of gauge on who I'm going to hire um what Fiverr also will tell you is uh you know the different ways you can work with them so basic right this includes the design concept and the 3d mock-up it doesn't include include source file for me I really want most things to include a source file. Source files are so important because if you ever want to update the text or anything, you need that. So if you don't have to go back to the graphic designer, you need that. So for me, I probably would be like, okay, let me see what's the price of the one with the source file. It's usually more expensive, y'all, because they're pretty much giving you the work over and they know you're not going to hire them again, right? So it's the one for 35, that's fine. I would suggest looking for someone who can include that, especially if you know you're going to want to update it later on. So... Um, you have your person. If you're browsing, what's cool is you can go up here. You can go on and save it, right? So you can save the person. So you can go back to your, you know, save list, right? Save to this list, right? You can create different lists that you save them to and then go back to it if you're looking through a bunch of folks. So the next step is I usually, before I pick something, I'll contact the person because I want to see if they have availability to do the work, right? So I'll contact them. I'll say, I'm just going to do this as a test. I mean, I always, you know, hey, James, I'm putting together an ebook. I'm wondering if you have time and capacity to create my ebook cover in the next five days, right? And what I'm doing here, folks, is I'm telling them exactly what I need. I'm asking them if they have time and capacity to do it and how what time I need it in, right? So this person says that they can do it, I believe, in two days, which is great. Well, I think that's what I've seen on their work. But, you know, maybe I needed it quicker. We got to be transparent about what we need in the conversation. So that's usually how I do that. So I'll look for people to create my ebook cover, the other thing is online course. So when you put that in, there's a lot of people who do different stuff with online courses. Um, so let's say you're creating an e-learning course. Like you have some people who will create the content in the course for you if you wanted to pay people for that. Um, course outlines, of course, but you could chat GPT for that. Right. They're probably using chat GPT for that, to be honest. Right. The other thing that I love to do is find people to work on Kajabi. So you could put in Kajabi. Right. And these people are able to create landing pages for you if you have a little bit of money to spend here. Right. So they can create either your PowerPoints or your websites on Kajabi. So that's how I kind of use Etsy. I use get Etsy more as graphic design. If I need quick video edits, if I want music added to my videos, right? Like it's more to create the marketing assets than anything, but it's a great space. Fiverr is a great space for that. So I would check it out. Um, and like I said, I'll give you a gift at the end so you can get more access to this. But yeah, this would be something that I would definitely add to my resource list. So we've went through PLR Me. We went through ChatGPT, Kajabi, Fiverr. Let's talk a little bit about Etsy next. 
So this is Etsy for folks who don't know about Etsy. Right? Cool. So you're looking at the chat. So you have some things coming through. You can ask ChatGPT for helping provide instructions for contractors. <laughs> yep. You can ask ChatGPT for anything, man, at this point. All right. So the way I use Etsy, believe it or not, Etsy has templates on here as well that you can download, right? So they do have a bunch of Kajabi templates, which I love. Um, they actually kind of look better. <laughs> so, right, so look, they have website templates, course templates, bundles, um, course templates, course templates, website templates. We have some cool stuff in here, funnel stuff. So if you ever need that, there's also some downloads that you can get here from Etsy. That's primarily what I've used it for. You can also use it if you wanted like templates. So let's say you wanted like a Canva workbook template. People do sell those on here as well. So let's say you wanted to create a workbook, but you're like, I don't really like the, the things that I'm seeing on Canva. There are people who sell the downloads here that might you know, just be more appealing to your brand. Things are already created. So all you have to do is just include your text in there. And this is an easy way, right? Like you could download this. And this is really wild that this person is selling this. 100 pages, 100 different like pages of a workbook that you can create. And you could either use it or you can use that individually, right? To create one of these like tip sheets for your particular gift. So that's what I love about Etsy. Oh, I'm not sharing Etsy. I just realized that. All right. So this is the one I was sharing on Etsy. Sorry, y'all. Somebody's probably like, we can't see what you're saying. Um, so yeah, so you can go on Etsy. I would put in Canva uh, workbook template. Right. And then these are the different ones that you can utilize. Yeah, there's a way to like skip past work. I feel like that's what I spent um, a lot of my time in was trying to figure out ways to do less work, but give value. And I feel like I spend the most time making, trying to make something look pretty. So these are ways it could look pretty without you doing a lot of labor. So that's what I utilize Etsy for. Any questions about any of those products as we're kind of wrapping up our training for today? Never realized Etsy was good for this. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been saying yeah, man, a lot because I've been talking to my... um family and they talk like this but yes 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 spirit um etsy is like such a of a, a, a very good stuff for resources and you know i even have some folks that i work with who upload uh templates onto etsy and utilize that as a way of making money so that's something else you could do too I have a private account. What I've had a little difficulty was the payment process. Uh, yeah, I think you just got to, you know, just pay the person. I, I, I utilize uh, PayPal for that. Powerful info. No problem. Question. What do you think would be the best way to promote music with these resources? Definitely. That's a great question. Um, I think the cool thing, Spirit, is you can create, you can um, upload audio files onto Kajabi, like under the course area. And that's where I would put it. I would put audio files there. The other thing that you could do is you could create either a private unlisted YouTube playlist or an unlisted Spotify playlist. And then people can go in and give you their email and then download, get the link and access to that. That's another way that you could do it with music. Hope that's helpful. So great for your expertise and experience and that you're sharing this with us. Thank you. No problem, Lucinda. I can't wait to see what you create. I appreciate these resources. I'll get sick trying to make it look good. Yeah, we all do, but we want to we wanna make sure we create an impact. So many gems and insights shared to help this process easeful. Thanks for a while. Yeah, no problem. What we use to build a worksheet about mental illness and rad radical acceptance, mindful practices. Um, I think I would probably utilize uh Chad GBT. I think Chad GBT would probably give you a great outline for your worksheet on mental illness. Um, and don't forget, you're going to have to utilize your own knowledge around this as well. We never want to just utilize these platforms. We want to utilize our own knowledge. And then you can utilize either Canva or Fiverr to make it pretty, 
right? Or Etsy. Gotcha. Yes, I could use an email sequence that has been unlisted link in it. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Which would be really cool. Um, you could also like Spirit, like when they um, give you their email, you could have a trigger that takes them to a thank you page. Thank you page is like a video of you, a button at the bottom that says go on and download this. They click that. That takes them to the, the list and still send them an email. I think it's great to give it people, you know, give it to people two times. But we can talk more about that at, at coaching, too, if you want to know how to set that up. I definitely have been putting much labor in most of my products I've done. Thank you for the CVOB. No problem. No problem, y'all. All right. So let's wrap up our training, y'all. Let's let's get through um, some of this. I'm going to get y'all to y'all gift and all of that. Was this class helpful? Was this helpful for y'all, right? For y'all to kind of get started on this. Uh, I think that this gives you enough information to have something ready for Black Friday. If you feel like this was helpful, go on and put the word love into the comments, put the word love, L-O-V-E or L-U-V, because it's nothing but love here. Uh, we have our S for P fam here. We have some folks who aren't necessarily a part of the fam yet, but you are because you're listening and you're here in the community and you want to get these bags and you want to impact the world. Um, like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you haven't watched on YouTube, go head over to our YouTube channel. This is where we do a lot of this work, right? And um, share this work in a more... Uh, I would say easeful way. And that's what I want for y'all. Oh, and I see some families here. Ricari, I didn't know you was here. I'm glad you made it. I am is here too. All right, cool. Glad this was helpful. Okay, so I got a gift for y'all, right? <laughs> um, I got a gift for y'all because I want to I, I I realize that this is not enough time, right? This is just 90 minutes. Uh, but I would love to take y'all on a deeper, deeper journey with me. So I'm introducing the digital product suite, right? And this gives y'all an opportunity to uh, not just sit on this information, but to implement it. And I'm just going to go through what it includes quickly. Um, so you can decide if it's something that you want to commit to. For S for P members, uh, you all will get a special discount code. So don't worry about um, purchasing yet. Wait until I put it in our group. But for the folks who um, are not S for P members, I just want to give you an opportunity to commit to this and to, you know, take it to the next step. So the digital product suite is a dual course bundle. It's going to include the masterclass revenue machine. Uh, the masterclass revenue machine is actually a six part course that deep dives into how to create a masterclass as a subject expert. Uh, we're going to help you unlock your promotion and selling secrets, and it's going to ensure steady flow. So it's about 10 hours of training in there, everything from how to set up your masterclass, how to teach it, uh, how to sell at the masterclass, how to sell from the stage. And it also has some really great information on how to put your slides together in particular ways um, to make it captivating for your audience. It also has a whole promotional cycle there for you so that you have information on how you should promote your masterclass as well. It's valued at nine, $997. I actually did it a couple of, of summers ago with some members. So it will include that. It will also include the digital product suite will also include the masterclass revenue machine, right? So that's going to be at 997. So that total value is 997. It's also going to include the profitable ebook workshop. So I did a workshop breaking down exactly how to use PLR me and other resources to build out your ebook immediately. And I have several folks who've utilized this to build out theirs made a few thousand dollars from that opportunity. So that workshop is, I think, about 90 minutes, and that's valued at $97. I actually did it as a live masterclass when I'm giving it to you all for a little bit of a discount. Um, so yes, that's valued at 97. Um, it's a step-by-step -step guide to leveraging PLRME products for crafting an ebook. Um, it teaches you how to position your ebook in a way that becomes an evergreen resource. So what I mean by that is when it's evergreen, you don't have to worry about selling it. You have to worry about promoting it. Um, and it puts it through a cycle where people are easily and able to get it over and over again, right? So you create it, set it, go. You just continue to create content and people purchase that from you. And I'm sure you've seen some people be really successful with eBooks. So that's worth $97. Total value of this is $10,000, I mean, $10,000, $1,094. 
um, total value that is one thousand ninety four dollars, uh, which was you know ten thousand because you know that would be a nice bag to have. But of course, y'all know I'm not going to charge y'all that. Um, the other thing that you're going to get with me because I want you all to be able to implement is we're going to do three live Q and A sessions with me, right? Three live Q and A sessions on Zoom, not on YouTube in the space, you can ask questions, we can deep dive into your funnel. I'm doing these three leading up to Black Friday, right? So we'll have one this month, we'll have one in October, we'll also have one in November, an opportunity, it'll be about 60 to 90 minutes for you to come into space with me, ask me questions and get this done. Um, I could consider myself a techie, so I can definitely help you with a lot of this back end stuff and getting it all set up and ready for Black Friday. Um, that's valued at $1,500. So, you know, and that's self-support, right? Ask your burning questions, ensuring you're set up for Black Friday and that your sales actually hit. And that's valued at $1,500. So the total value is $2,594 when we include that in there as well. I'm also going to give you 30 free days trial of Kajabi. If you already got Kajabi, I would suggest signing up with another email address so you get 30 days free and have the opportunity to do that. That's valued at $199. That's how much it costs a month, right? And Kajabi is an all-in-one platform like we talked about today to build your online business. So that total value is $2,793 for that, right? And then I'm also going to give you a link to the PLR Me course, right? In that space, um, it'll give you 10 free credits, right? Usually to create like a tip sheet, I believe it's like maybe like one credit, right? They base it off credits, kind of like, uh, kind of like, um, not amusement parks, but, uh, what, what am I thinking? Uh, where we play video games, arcades, right? So they base it off of credits and points. So you get 10 free credits to utilize PLR me. So you can get your guide that's valued at $27. So the total value of this is $2,000. $820 um, for you to get the digital product suite, dual course bundle, which includes masterclass revenue machine, of course, the profitable ebook workshop, three live Q&A sessions with your boy Evolve, a uh, 30-day free child of Kajabi, and 10 free credits for PLR Me. You have no excuse to not create something on Black Friday, right? So for today, actually for this week, I'm going to give you all access to this for $197. Like I said, S4P members, please do not purchase. Um, you will have an opportunity to take a deep dive. But yes, you'll get that for $197. Um, all you need to do is go over to speakingforprofit.com slash digital product. And what I'll do is I'll also put that in the chat so you have that information. And I want to share with you what you're going to do when you go there. So when you go to speakingforprofit.com slash digital product, right? You're going to see this on the page. You're going to click here. When you click here, it's going to take you over to the checkout page. You're going to put your information in, your email, phone number, pay your investment, read the terms. This is non-refundable, right? Because they're giving you the information ready to go. And then once you fill all that in, it's going to send you an email with next steps and how to get started. It's literally gonna send you a calendar and how you can get connected with me so we can get on our Q and A's. It's gonna send you the information for all the products and you can get started today on this. So I don't want people waiting. I want you to commit today um, and getting it going. All right, just put that in there for y'all. So just a reminder for folks who might've missed it, you're going to get access to the Masterclass Revenue Machine, the Profitable Ebook Workshop, three live Q&A sessions with myself, 30-day trial free of Kajabi, and those PLR Me credits for you. For $197 today, total value is $2,820. I hope that you all join me on this adventure. Um, the other thing I want you to know is that we are keeping this open. Um, let me make sure that I'm clear about the date. We're going to keep this open until Friday. So you have until Friday to go on and sign up um, and be a part of this journey with us. Um, I would suggest getting in now. I'm going to let, I think, 10 people um, into this opportunity that aren't in S4P because this is going to be for our members. So if you're not a part of the Speaking for Profit family, I would suggest getting in. We have about 
like I said, about uh, four days. So until Friday for you to go on and get signed up, I don't want people coming in later because I want you to have the most success. And to be honest with you, it's going to take these next couple of months to build this out and make sure that you can have a profitable, extremely profitable Black Friday. Um, so I don't want, I want you to commit. I want people who are ready to commit and ready to go. All right. Any questions about this or about what we talked about today before I head out to eat my dinner? Just making a C. Thank you, King Evolves. That would take us to a whole new level. No problem. Thanks for the awesome offer, Evolve. No problem. I'm excited to take, you know, take it to the next step with y'all and help y'all build this out. Anybody have any questions about our time together today or about the digital product suite? If you're thinking about joining, just go on and put the word join into the comments. I'm excited to work with you deeper and to make this happen. Really excited to make it happen. My goal for Black Friday, last year I made 10,000. So I think this year for Black Friday, I want to double up and make at least 20,000. How much y'all trying to make, right? How much y'all trying to make? Because we got to set our goals, right? Implementation is important, but setting a goal is important as well. And just know this, right? Um, you set a goal because you need a goal to have, but don't feel bad about it if you don't hit it the first time. It's just important to have a goal so that you can have some intention. So I don't want y'all to dream like low level energy. I want you to dream really high level energy, really abundant energy. What would be helpful? Like for me, you know, extra 20,000 definitely would be probably paying off a little bit of debt, probably put a little bit away for some future vacation time. Like we got to start dreaming it and really living in it, right? Dreaming it and really living in it. Right? All right. We got some numbers people trying to put in. Okay. All right. Definitely. Thank y'all. Let's see some folks thinking about joining. That's great. I'm excited to have y'all. So in closing, y'all, I just want y'all to know two things. One, um, taking this to the next level is for Black Friday because Black Friday is a short, short opportunity for us to really put ourselves into action. But creating a digital asset is something you could sell often. Y'all seen it, me do it on my birthday, right? I had opportunity to sell some things on my birthday, right? <laughs> can I buy a bond of your blood so I can get some of your brilliance? Y'all are funny. Um, but, you know, it gives you an opportunity to impact the world with your expertise. And once it's created, it's something you can leverage passively. So even when you go on vacation or you have a birthday, you know, I want you to think this beyond just Black Friday. Once it's created, it's going to be something that you can continue to, to build out. So I'm excited that, you know, I have an opportunity to work with a few of y'all this fall on that. Will there be a replays of this and an offer with the offer in it? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send out some emails definitely to y'all. I'll send out emails to follow up and let y'all know, especially as we get towards the deadline for that. So we'll definitely send that out. As far as this replay, I'm going to leave it up for a little bit. For the folks who join the digital product suite, you will get access to this replay as well. So that's something else that you'll give access to. I'll probably leave the replay up for another maybe 24 to 48 hours, and then I'll take it down. But thanks for that question. All right, y'all. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for using your most prized possession, which is your time with me. I really appreciate you. Uh, again, I'm Evolve Benton, the Speaking for Profit coach. I'm very thankful for y'all. I hope y'all create something beautiful with this information. And until next time, peace.